Everything that I'm doing is extremely ill-advised. Mistakes were made. Not just the same mistakes were made. This is already the beginning of my attempt to, uh, to fix the problem here, but it's it's a little <laughs> it's a little ugly. The saw bent while I was originally sawing this, creating a large valley. Filling it in, it became a mountain. So step one is to grate this abomination down to the proper thickness and attempt something resembling flat. Then I've lined up how to stagger the board so the pattern fits on it and mark that so I can repeat it later. Now I can apply a generous amount of glue to both sides and use my fingers to spread it evenly over the entire edge, like a heathen. Finally line it up and clamp it for all I've got. Unfortunately, the thing is now so wide that only two of my clamps can actually hold it. So I use a large clamping call to try to distribute the pressure more evenly. After it dries, I'll plane the back so that it's fairly flat, at least at the center joint, and uh, remove any excess glue. After lining up the pieces of the top, I'll apply an absolutely egregious amount of glue, especially trying to fill in all the little nooks and crannies. This thing was so damaged, and I'm basically trying to hide it underneath the top, and I'll fill in any gaps that are showing later. As is often stated by woodworkers, I need more clamps. I'll let this glue cure for at least a few days since it's so cold now, and then I'll need to cut some bits off the long end of the top and glue those on to fill out the width. With the top on especially, it's starting to resemble something that I can at least make a guitar out of. Hopefully before the new year I'll actually be able to cut it to shape, but uh, we'll see next time.